Hi, in today's video I'm going to make carrot and coriander soup. Last week I posted that I'd got this new Morphe Richards soup maker and I made some roasted butternut squash and I did say I'd made previously carrot and coriander and if anybody wanted to know to leave me a comment and a few of you left me a comment so as it was so yummy I'm going to make it again. You can do this in a pan on top of your oven but I'm just using the Morphe Richards soup maker which as I explained in my last video, I bought recently from Tesco's. This recipe is not my own. It was taken from the bag of lentils that I bought in Tesco's. But what you'll need are 500 grams of carrots, one medium onion chopped, six grams of coriander. I've just literally cut it up roughly using the stalks and all. And this was just taken from one of those small 30 gram bags that you can buy in the supermarket with fresh herbs in. I think there's about 30 grams in a bag and you can freeze them. So you just need six grams. One teaspoon of mild chili powder, two cloves of garlic crushed, two vegetable stock cubes, 125 grams of split red lentils. These are the ones that you don't need to soak, but you do just need to wash them. So I just put them in this sieve colander thing and I run them under cold water. So all that's going to go into the soup maker and I'm going to fill it up to the maximum point on the inside. Okay, so that's all in there now. I'm just going to top it up with a kettle full of hot water that I've already boiled. Okay, so that's everything in there now, filled up to the maximum point with hot water. Just going to put the lid on. plug it in and switch it on. I'm going to press the mode button which is on the top to choose smooth because I want this soup smooth and those lentils do make it nice and thick. It's lovely. It's not too thick but it's not a, a very liquid soup. And I'm going to press start and that will take 21 minutes and when it's done I'll be back to show you. Okay, so for anybody that doesn't know, when the Morphe Richards is finished, it bleeps at you continuously, I believe for 60 seconds. And that lets you know that the soup is made. If you didn't see the last video, I'll put an information card on this video with a link to the roasted butternut squash. But in a minute when this has stopped, I'm going to take the lid off and show you that 21 minutes from when I put all those raw vegetables and the coriander into there, I've got a smooth, a perfectly smooth, cooked, beautiful carrot and coriander soup. Okay, so that's stopped now. I'm going to lift the lid and obviously be very careful because this does get very hot and this is like a kettle as I said in my last video, so the outside gets hot, so be careful. This is easy to wash now. All you need to do to clean this is run this section under some hot running water or some soapy water. Obviously don't get the connection wet, just this section here and the blade. It is the soup now ready. I'm going to pour it into a bowl and you'll see how beautiful and smooth and lump free this soup is. So there it is, beautiful and smooth carrot and coriander soup. I hope you found that helpful. 
Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe if you don't already do so and share the video amongst all your friends and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.